Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Francis. I live here in Amsterdam. Since I moved to Amsterdam, I've been living for many years in the uh, modern part of the city. But now I live here in the center of the city, in the old parts. And uh, yeah, many people when they think of Amsterdam, they don't really understand, they don't really know that Amsterdam has many different sites. It's not just the pretty, beautiful, old architecture that you usually see on the postcards. But there is also a modern side of Amsterdam and today I want to take you guys along with me so you can get to know this different side of the city. Come along. Even though I live here in Amsterdam, I don't have a bike and I explained that in one of my, my other videos. If you don't know yet, go check that out. So I'm gonna hop on the back of Tim's bike and we are gonna head to the south of Amsterdam. So we just left the city center and we are now in the beginning of Zout. We are actually, this is the Out Zout, which is the old south neighborhood. And we are going to the modern part in a bit. But the, first we decided to stop in a shop around here to get some sweets. Now we have to wait here outside. Oh, and the entrance is limited. It's only two people can get in. So I'm gonna stay outside and Tim is gonna go get us some sweets. I hope he gets a good one. This is one of our favorite pastry shops here in Amsterdam. Uh, it's where I also got my birthday cake from last year. Well, actually Tim got it for me. And uh, wow, like the sweets, the chocolates, the pies, everything here is so good. So let's see. Let's see what Tim's gonna get. Some Easter eggs. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Look how nice, guys. They gave us these uh, chocolate eggs and uh, apparently it's champagne taste. It's made with a Moen Chandon, the famous champagne brand. So he gave us this. Ah, nice. It's a Moen Chandon Ooh. champagne. Nice. Yeah. That was nice. That was nice. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Amazing. Oh my god. This is so good. Wow. Mmm. Oh my god, so good. So this is also where I got to buy for your birthday. Yeah. We told them already. Didn't they all look so nice, the spies? We need to come back. And what did you get? I got some little things that we could eat easily. So I got one of each. Okay. I'm curious. So let's keep on going. So we just arrived here in the Zoud, uh, which is the south of Amsterdam, and I bet most people don't know that this neighborhood even exists. And most people don't have no idea that Amsterdam has this type of architecture as well. So let's have a look around the neighborhood so you guys can have an idea of this different side of Amsterdam. Guys, we're gonna start our tour around here. This building over here is where I used to live. Look how nice. This is also known as a student hotel, it's one of those buildings where only students can live. And uh, this, was ac this is actually one of the best student uh, buildings here in Amsterdam. I used to live here for <laughs> quite a while, but I just recently moved to a new neighborhood now, the center of the city, as I told you guys already before. And as you can see, the architecture of this building is very modern. Uh, if you guys are interested in an apartment tour, I can also show you guys what it, what it was like to live here in this building. Um, I have some images actually that I recorded and I can show you guys in the video as well. So what is interesting about this building is that besides the apartments you can also find some bars, restaurants and cafes here. And many of the people who work here in the office buildings nearby come here to, for having lunch or happy hour. A set of four circles is an apartment. I used to live in the apartments up there with a view to the inside of the building.
And right there across the building is the financial center of Amsterdam. We are also going to check it right now. As you can see, people like to sit here on these benches in front of the building, in front of the canal, to enjoy the sun, which is a luxury item here in Amsterdam. And many photographers from all over the country like to come here to take a picture because of the architecture. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting concept. It does look like a washing machine or something. And guys, as you can see here, this is the building where I used to live. And right here on this side is a kindergarten. What is really interesting about this kindergarten is that the whole architecture is made of uh, wood, metal and glass. To this side there is also a big football field. Unfortunately now because of the pandemic everything is closed. One of the things you see a lot here in this neighborhood is that there is construction work everywhere. Since this is the financial area of Amsterdam, they are always building new office buildings here. So you're here in one of the main streets of the neighborhoods and I want to show you guys these buildings that they just built recently. So this building is an office but then from there you can already see some new luxury apartments. These buildings have been built uh, very recently actually. This is a very popular area for the office workers to live. And besides the architecture another interesting point of this apartment building is that as you can see over there there are many solar panels so the whole building is running through solar energy. And guys, look at this building. The balconies here are huge. Look at this one. It goes all the way there. Huh? And then you also have, you know, for the people who live in the back, the balcony is right there. Then besides that, there is also a, a building with luxury apartments as well. And behind there are some of the offices in the area. I haven't been to this neighborhood in a few months. You always see construction work around here because they're always building new apartment complex, uh, new hotels, new office buildings. So I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like after the pandemic. So Tim is already sitting right there and you're going to try some of the sweets that he got from the shop. I hope you got something with chocolates. Ooh, oh. Meu Deus! Oh my god, guys, look at this. Aren't you guys salivating right now? I am. So what are the flavors? Uh, mocha, uh -huh. lemon, this I forgot, oh, chocolate of course, and this is something with hazelnut. Oh my god. Maybe pistachio. <laughs> Okay, so now we got our fuel and it's time to go back to exploring the neighborhood. And guys, usually this neighborhood during the week is packed with people. Um, all of these restaurants, uh, cafes and bars that you see here are usually full during the week. Uh, because most people who actually come here to this neighborhood, they come here to work. Um, there are a few residents here and you can see them here right now, but... Yeah, that's usually not the case and now especially with the pandemic, we don't know what the situation will be like. So, yeah, it's kind of pretty dead, actually. Not much going on. Guys, this is one of the main streets here in this area. Um, and this is uh, like the main square of the neighborhood. On the other side of the main square, you can see the station Zout, which is one of the main stations here in Amsterdam. You can take trams and trains to go to other cities as well. On the other side, this high building we see over here is uh, also one of the biggest banks here in the Netherlands, the ABN. Yeah, we have here like a huge organic restaurant with like a place for events and stuff. Like I've been there once, it's a really nice place. Guys, as you can see, this doesn't even look like Amsterdam. Uh, to me, this looks more like, you know, like a proper big city like Tokyo or New York or something. There is also a little sports field here where people who live here in the area can come here to practice some sports. Today they are practicing tennis. So guys, here is the VU or the Freie Universität, which is one of the biggest universities here in Amsterdam. So many of the students who used to live there in my building, my old building that I just showed you, 
um, yeah, many of them study here. So look, this is the university. That's one of the main streets. And right there is the building I just told you. So we just left the financial center where you can find some of the, those luxury apartments. And then we crossed the main street to this area. And here is where you find more sort of like affordable apartments. There is the doctors and then on this side you can find a shopping center called Helderland Apply, where I used to shop a lot because this is where the supermarket is. And besides the supermarkets, there is also a lot of shops and other types of restaurants and places to visit. Let's go check it out. So to get into the shopping center, we need to wear the mask. So let's have a look to see what they have here at the mall today. Ah oh yeah, this is a really interesting um, thing that they have here. They always have this sort of, well, art installations everywhere. They have also another one there. Like basically every corner of this, this shopping center has art installation. This is also a really interesting one. So now here in the Netherlands, since many stores cannot be open, they have this new thing now called click and collect, where you just basically either order from your uh, from your telephone or you just go there and you ask the employee, as this girl is doing now. And um, yeah, they go there, they get the product for you, and then they come back. You just have to pay there, and then that's it. You don't need to get into the store. This is one of the main supermarkets here in the area, and look at the queue to get in. Like, and this is nothing because usually it goes actually all the way there. Sometimes it turns the corner even. But this is all because of the pandemic. Just behind the shopping center, we have here a little park. The shopping center is located right here. And yes, yeah, so here we have this area where, you know, like local people come here to hang out. So we will end the video here. We are going to chill here for a little bit. If you want to know more about Amsterdam, go check my other videos. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And I see you on the next one. Bye.